all today we will be discussing about CEH bond activation reactions and their importance in organic synthesis. In synthetic organic chemistry we deal with a number of functionalized organic molecules. Thus we need synthetic methods which could efficiently construct the structural backbone of this molecule or could provide opportunities to install new functionalities in selective position of this particular derivatives. There are different synthetic methodologies known to serve for this purpose. Here I have mentioned few of them and today I will be talking mainly on metal catalyzed CH bond activation reactions. My discussion will be focused on arene functionalization Although CH bond functionalization reaction is not only limited to arene CH bonds, it could be also performed with sp3 CH bond or alkane CH bonds. One of the most conventional approach to functionalize an arene is to utilize electrophilic and nucleophilic aromatic substitution reactions. In electrophilic substitution reactions, we need an electron rich arene and it could be coupled with a suitable electrophile to give us the functionalized product. In the nucleophilic aromatic substitution reaction, we need an electron deficient arene consisting of a leaving group in a suitable position. It could be reacted with a nucleophile and this nucleophile can displace this particular leaving group to give us the functionalized product. Both the processes are good, but they are highly biased on the electronic nature of the arene ring. In most of the cases, they also could lead to reduced selectivity issues, especially in the case of electrophilic substitution reaction. Further, Hart's reaction condition and the use of stoichiometric reagents are limiting this broader application of these processes. Now, if I talk about a very general approach to incorporate new functionality of arene in arene, so this could be through a diagonal salt activation. So, for this, we can take an arene, react with a acid mixture to incorporate the nitro functionality in the arene ring, and this nitro functionality then can be converted to amine functionality, and through diagonal salt formation from this aniline we could substitute this uh, di diagonium salt with a new functional group. Obviously, this is a very common approach we utilize for synthesizing functionalized arenes, but it needs a number of steps to incorporate a suitable functionality and uh, thus uh, requires slight modification where we could access functionalized arenes in direct and straightforward manner. Another alternative approach is the cross coupling reaction where a low valent transition metal is used as a catalyst with an organic electrophile and organometallic nucleophile. So, this uh, organic electrophile could be coupled with organometallic nucleophile to give us a functionalized product. The mechanism of the reaction is as follows. So, I will discuss the mechanism based on a palladium catalyzed reaction which is very popular for cross coupling. So, we need a low valent palladium zero complex which could undergo oxidative addition with this electrophile and organic electrophile will generate the palladium 2 intermediate. This palladium 2 intermediate could uh, undergo transmetallation to give us a new palladium 2 intermediate which can realize reductive elimination to generate palladium 0 species back for the next catalytic cycle and provide us the desired product. And this the range of uh, organometallic nucleophiles are there and we could use Grignard reagents or organoboron reagents, organo zinc reagents, organo tin reagents or organo silicon reagents. So there are a lot of scope in this particular organometallic nucleophile species. But this particular strategy needs a pre-functionalization. That means we need the halogen functionality present in the organic electrophile and a 
metal functionality in the organometallic nucleophile. Another alternative approach is also known where a suitable arene could be reacted with LDA and this LDA could lead to lithiate in the ortho position and this is called ortholithiation process and this ortholithiation could give us a carbon lithium bond in the ortho position of the functional identity present in the organic molecule and this could be efficiently reacted with suitable electrophile and can be trapped with it and we can get the desired functionalization. So if we could trap this organolithium species with the diboron reagents then we could also get the boronate species and this uh, organoboron reagents could be utilized for cross coupling reactions and we can get a new functionalization. But this particular lithiation step requires a very strong base such as LDA and controlled reaction condition which obviously limits this particular strategy. Now if I talk about the two different strategies till now I have discussed one is uh, through main group metal based another through transition metal based. So obviously there is a difference in the carbon metal bond reactivity uh, in both the cases. So in the case of main group metal as these are hard in nature compared to transition metal which are soft the nature of the carbon metal bond is more nucleophilic in the case of uh, main group metals and this could be only utilized as a nucleophile and uh, the carbon metal bonds are highly sensitive and it could not tolerate air or moisture and it could be immediately quenched in presence of moisture while in the case of transition metal due to its soft nature the carbon metal bond is soft uh, carbon metal bond is stable to air and moisture and uh, it could also be isolated in several cases. Further, the major feature with the transition metal catalyst or transition metal reagents is the presence of uh, different or, uh, oxidation states. Thus, it could uh, be utilized suitably with the control reaction condition as a nucleophile or an electrophile. Thus, we it can broaden up the applicability of this process. In the field of CH bond activation, the major breakthrough came in 1968 when Professor Fujiura and Muritani reported the pioneering discovery where they showcased that arene CH bond could be functionalized under a palladium mediated reaction. So arene to react with a palladium acetate to generate a carbopalladated intermediate and this carbopalladated intermediate would react with styrene to give us tilbene in a reasonable amount. The reaction needs a stoichiometric amount of palladium acetate but the, this earlier discovery showcased that it is indeed possible that CH bond could be utilized as a synthetic handle to install new functionalities and this particular discovery changed the dimension of organic synthesis. Now if I talk about the functional group interconversion approach and CH bond activation approach obviously we have major advantages in the case of CH bond activation reactions because we do not need any pre-functionalization in the case of CH bond functionalization and further the abundance of CH bonds leads to greater opportunities to install functionality and the waste generation in the case of CH functionalization is much lesser. Now if I talk about CH activation what do we mean by activation? So there are two different kind of CH bonds present in the organic molecule is acidic CH bond which is uh, already activated by certain functionalities present in the molecule and this uh, CH bonds could be functionalized in the presence of uh, suitable conditions 
Now, if I talk about this particular compound, this is a malonate derivative and it has an active methylene group. Now, due to the presence of these two electron withdrawing functionalities attached to this particular carbon center, this CH bond is quite acidic and could be easily deprotonated through base promoted reaction and it can be functionalized easily. Thus, here we do not need any activation. Now, if we talk about an arene CH bond or an alkane CH bond, these bonds are non-acidic in nature, has very high pK value and inert. This particular CH bond cannot be directly utilized for functionalization utilizing a simple base and thus we need further activation and this activation is done utilizing a transition metal catalyst. Although it looks very simple, there are two different uh, issues that are inherent to this particular reaction. So first one is the reduced selectivity issue that the number of CH bond in a particular arene or any organic molecule are more and thus it can lead to reduced selectivity mixture of products when we are doing functionalization. So this is a very very big challenge to control while the other issue is the polarity of the CH bond which is very less and thus we have very little interaction with the carbon hydrogen bond and uh, the transition metal catalyst. So this is not very easy to perform CH activation. The challenges I have mentioned in the previous slide could be addressed uh, borrowing the concept of enzyme catalysis. So in enzyme catalysis substrate binds to the active site of the enzyme undergoes transformation and after the transformation it gives us product and it is released from the enzyme active site. Similarly, if we could incorporate a directing group or a reactive site in the particular substrate then this directing group can which is a coordinating functionality present in the organic molecule could coordinate to the transition metal species and after the coordination the metal comes to a proximal CH bond available in the molecule thus the interaction between the CH bond and the transition metal increases and also it is coming to particular CH bond thus the metallation is very selective and we get a selective metallation through chelate ring formation. This issue not only increase the interaction that between the transition metal and CH bond, it could also dictate the metallation in the selective position. Thus, we could address both the issues in one shot. And now, as we know, this kind of organometallic species are, are very reactive. It could be easily utilized for further functionalization. Over the years, number of directing groups have been utilized for CH bond activation reaction. The journey started with a substrate like this, which is 2-phenylpyridine, where pyridine was utilized as a directing group. But uh, this particular directing group has a major drawback that after the functionalization, we could not remove this uh, pyridine functionality from the substrate. Thus, it limited the broader application uh, of the CH bond activation reaction. Later on, a number of the bidentate auxiliaries have been designed for CH bond activation reaction. Here I have showcased one. So these auxiliaries could be attached to organic molecule through simple organic transformation. So here I have showcased that 8 aminoquinoline directing group which could be attached to a particular carboxylic acid through amide bond formation and uh, this could serve as a directing group to perform ortho CH bond functionalization and after the functionalization we could hydrolyze this amide bond and can generate the desired product. So we could uh, install and uh, remove this directing group after the functionalization and uh, this can be this uh, auxiliary can be reused for further manipulation. But the extra steps needed for installation and removal uh, limited the uh, application because obviously we need extra steps and that's uh, which is not desired 
for siege activation reaction. A more straightforward approach is to use the common organic functionalities present in organic molecule as a directing group for CH activation. These are very common organic functionalities such as amide, ketone, aldehyde, hydroxy or amino groups and these are highly abundant in a number of organic molecules that we want to synthesize and if we could exploit them as a directing group it is much more helpful and we do not need extra step for the incorporation and removal of directing group so directly we can take a substrate and functionalize them uh, utilizing this available functionalities as a directing group another alternative approach is the use of a traceless directing group where a directing group is uh, in incorporated in the substrate in the reaction medium and also clipped from the substrate uh, after functionalization and both are performed in the reaction medium itself thus we do not need uh, any extra step for this additional installation and removal so here i have showcased one of the most uh, prominent uh, traceless directing group which is imi so we can Additionally, use an amine based molecule which could react with the substrate which is ketone or aldehyde. So, it can form imine bond which is reversible in nature. So, after formation of this imine bond, it could serve as a directing group and after the reaction, we could hydrolyze it from the particular product and we can get a functionalized product without having any immune functionality and that will be transformed as an aldehyde or ketone. Till now I was uh, discussing about uh, ortho CH bond functionalization reaction. However, this could be extended to meta or para CH bond functionalization of arenes. So we, for this purpose, we need a uh, suitable templates. So here I have showcased a few templates uh, designed by various groups. So, Professor Yu and Tan designed this particular templates where the cyano groups present in the molecule dictates the metallation to the meta position of the arene ring. And these suitably designed templates could serve the purpose for regioselective functionalization. Maithi group also have developed one template where the cyano group dictates the metallation to the para position of the and we are in ring and thus it could we could do arin ch functionalization selectively in the para position another alternative approach was also de devised by professor kanai group where they have utilized additional ligands in the reaction mixture so in this particular case we don't have to incorporate the template in the substrate this particular uh, external auxiliary present in the reaction medium can uh, have a bifunctional feature. So first that uh, should have a functionality which could interact with the substrate. Here I have showcased this particular template designed by Professor Kanai. So it could interact with the carbonyl functionality present in the organic molecule through hydrogen bonding. And now if it is bond, hydrogen bonded with the substrate, the bipyridine ligand present in the particular scaffold could dictate the metallation selectively to the meta position of the arene ring and we could do efficient meta CH bond functionalization. So this is also a very useful technique to perform selective CH bond functionalization and all these strategies are getting more popular in modern organic synthesis. Now I will talk about the major advantages of CH bond activation reaction. So Professor Yu and Baran group has shown that CH bond activation can be utilized as a tool for the synthesis of natural product hunger question A. Through CH bond functionalization, we can get a straightforward access to this kind of molecule. A general retrosynthetic analysis showcased that we need a highly functionalized aromatic carboxylic acid for the construction of this kind of molecule. Obviously, 
synthesizing such a highly functionalized aromatic carboxylic acid is not desired and it is very challenging but if we start the synthesis from the corresponding carboxylic acid and do ortho methylation and ortho ch hydroxylation it could be a much more efficient strategy so this particular carboxylic acid could be synthesized from promozonarol and this uh, ox, uh, hydroxy functionality first can be protected with a triplic anhydride to generate triplets and then with the palladium catalyzed reaction condition we could install the carboxylic acid functionality in this particular position now if we have the acid in hand this acid could be first uh, converted to an amine where this uh, pentafluoroanilin could be coupled to this amine, uh, carboxylic acid through amide bond formation now this amide uh, such as this could uh, be utilized as a directing group for ortho ch methylation reaction under palladium catalysis so palladium catalyzed ortho methylation selectively goes in the less sterically hindered position because this is more accessible for metallation and we can get uh, the ortho methylated product in reasonable yield after that this uh, particular directing group could be further utilized for palladium catalyzed acetoxylation reaction and we could do hydro acetoxylation followed by hydrolysis to generate the desired product in a efficient manner with a reasonable yield obviously this particular example showcases that each activation provides an opportunity to develop uh, strategies which could be utilized for complex organic molecule synthesis and this is a very effective approach and it is getting popular day by day now i will summarize the whole topic till now i have discussed so ch bond activation reactions are termed for carbon hydrogen bonds which are non acidic in nature and has pk value more than 40 these carbon hydrogen bonds are more abundant in organic molecule thus the utilization of this carbon hydrogen bonds for the incorporation of new functionalities is very useful and more straightforward further it provides us an step and atom economic approach to functionalize organic molecules so thank you all for watching this video if you have any doubts or queries or any suggestion that you can email me or comment in the following section so thank you all if you like the video please share it with others so that uh, more people can get to know about this particular forum thank you